Right, before I leave this cemetery, Preston, leave the old part, I might go and have a quick check of the new in a second. I just quickly want to go over here, because earlier today I came across a grave by chance, pure chance. I was looking into the deeper Brambley area and I was attracted to the, all the bluebells. I thought they looked lovely. Anyway, look, I came across this stibe. But I didn't come across it from that way. I didn't even see that straight away. This is Sheila in Preston Cemetery, a huge cemetery divided by a road, a main road with the old this side, the new that. Anyway, I, was, I decided, decided to come to this brambled area. The bluebells look nice. I thought that's a nice little area. And look, it's all flattened. This is me. Because down here we've got Hen jo the beloved children of Henry John and Alice Ann Stibe. Henry Ware died December the 19th, 1991, aged two years and seven months. Florence Mary died December the 21st, 8, 1911, aged one year. We loved them well, but Jesus loved them best. Also of Alice Ann, the beloved wife of Henry John Stibe and mother of the above children who died February the 11th, 1934, aged 59 years. Then down there we've got also of Frank Stibe, uncle of the above, who died April the 24th, 1929. And of course down below there, if I've got my trowel out, would be his age. He was 42. And of course John Hen Henry John himself probably would have could even be down deeper or they never put his name on there. So there you are look. I know that some of the Stibes came up to Preston to find work. Um, I can't remember the exact. A, a Stibe married a, a Ware and um, they came up to Preston to find work and they stayed up here and they had children and family up here. So there's probably more. This is what's making me think. I I should have looked more closely everywhere. Um, not far from here there's a grave of a murderer who murdered his girlfriend and then murdered himself. Well, killed himself. But, um, yeah, this is the area where you get the most... The earliest graves are in this area, you see. It opened in 1955, 1855. And here we have a Stibe grave. Now, I was only joking when I said, wouldn't it be funny if I bumped into a Stibe, knowing it's very, very unlikely. In fact, I always say that. Wouldn't it be funny if I found a Stibe? And earlier today, I was saying, well, the Hodges are nearly as bad to find as the Stibes. And there you go. We have got a stibe grave. Well, no, I didn't even think about looking for stibes actually when I came here. My main aim was looking for Hodges and related names. But um, there we have it. lovely bluebells. And it really makes me want to look more deeply at all the rest of the graves surrounding them. So I'm going to do some photos now of people ne near them. For example, we've got in loving memory of Thomas McCulloch, who died December the 16th, 1919, aged 16. Also Mary Ellen, mother of the above, who died October the 22nd, 1960, aged 81. Also Clara, daughter of the above, beloved wife of John and loving mother of Claire, who died 
the May the 31st, 1971 inch 60. So this is the neighbour. Many years later, of course. On this side, you've got Elizabeth, wife of William Maylor, who died December the 14th, 1911, age 66. Also of William, husband of the above, who died November 1922, age 80. It's a, there's an empty space behind. Um, it does make me want to look around to see if there's any other names, I must admit. When you find one, you feel you've got to look for others. Um, that they might be closer by. So that's that. There's a Hodson there. But do you think I can find a Hodge? No. I can't. So we're quite fortunate finding that, really. Another view of it there. Our stipe ancestors are surfacing, everyone. I don't think anyone saw. I haven't seen a picture of this before. Um, now the other thing is the plot number. Senior, it says. 837. Senior. So I don't know why that's got that written on the side. That's, that's Henry John Senior. There might be a Henry John Junior, you see. That's a... Uh, I can't see anyone else with senior written on there. There's um, BB856 there. Norris's. Like I said, I haven't really studied this area thoroughly. I was only scanning, literally scanning this area. There's my van over there. I've got to keep an eye on it. It's not exactly a ideal place to be. Um, basically, I'm looking for numbers. I'm looking for numbers. That are written on the graves. Right, over and out for now everyone.